Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I fully concur with the introductory comments made by the chairman and the ranking member and by Senator Portman and Senator Shaheen. Um, I, I simply do not understand the logic for not getting the MiGs to the Ukrainians immediately. There is no logic which has been provided to this committee or to the nation for the lack of rapidity in making this decision and getting them the MiGs. It makes no sense. And if there are people in the administration that know the answer, I would suggest we get the occasion to meet with them, perhaps in a classified setting. But we need to know the reason why those MiGs have not been transferred already. There's, I believe there's a sentiment that we're fearful about what Putin might do and what he might consider as an escalation. It's time for him to be fearful of what we might do. The only way to get Putin to act in a way that may be able to save lives of Ukrainians is if he fears us more than we fear him. And the truth of the matter is that his military is exposed in Ukraine, bogged down, unfed, without fuel. They're in a very precarious position. He's got to think about what happens if he provokes us because they could be obliterated by the forces of NATO. So I, I would suggest that, that the, the continued, we, we've had this discussion now day after day after day of people from the State Department like yourself saying, we're talking, we're considering, this is war, people are dying. We need to get this aircraft immediately to the people of Ukraine. That's what they're asking for. By the way, the idea that somehow we're calculating what's effective for them to run their war and that our, and that our stingers and our javelins are better than our aircraft it makes no sense at all. They're better at running their own war. They know what the conditions of the ground are. They're there, we're not. And further, our A-10s would help. We need to get them A-10s. That's the aircraft that's really ideally designed for this kind of warfare. Why are we dithering on that as well? This makes no sense to me at all. And I would respectfully request that as you return to the State Department, you indicate to them that we, this committee, deserve a response because as uh, Senator Shaheen has said, our caucuses, both sides of the aisle, are united on this. Get them the aircraft. Now, I, I, would, um, I would also note that um, I would anticipate that there are going to be some adjustments in our military strategy with regards to Moldova, Georgia, the Balkans. What, what changes do you see with regards to... Uh, arms and support going to other nations that Putin has his eyes on. Because it's now very clear, I think, to the entire world that this is a person who is trying to reestablish the old, if you will, boundaries of the Soviet Union and bring more and more nations under his control. And, uh, and that's unacceptable. What's happened in Ukraine could spread to other places. What do we do militarily to prepare them for uh, or to, to make them less vulnerable to his attack? Senator Romney, thank you for that question and for your leadership on this issue. Um, we have been thinking through uh, exactly this question that you're raising, which is um, how to make sure the eastern flank is shored up. Um, one of the things I know is that um, in the CR that I think is moving quickly, uh, there's about another $200 million in presidential drawdown authority. And then I think uh, when the final appropriations passes, another significant potentially billions, but and we want to- these are, these are small numbers, uh, very small numbers for helping these nations defend themselves. Uh, I think the good news is there are bigger numbers in the um, appropriations bill, the Omni. Um, so I know there's over $3 billion there in presidential drawdown assistance and another 500 million in foreign military funds. And we can use those funds as well for the Eastern flank countries. We have already started working on exactly what their needs are to make sure that they are shored up. And I think lessons learned from this conflict will apply in terms of both training and the type of equipment they need. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.